Hi everyone, Code Queen Ayemi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add push notifications on your Wix website using Wix code. If you don't know what push notifications are, they're those little pop-up messages that we get on the browser sometimes or even on our cell phone. If you go to my website, totallycodable.com, and you look at the very bottom left-hand corner, you'll see a little notification bell. I actually embedded this on the website, and when you hover over it, it gives a message to the visitor saying, hey, subscribe to web notifications. You can add whatever message you want there. So whenever a person visits your website and they click on that, they get this pop-up saying, would you like to subscribe? And basically, this is a little preview of what they're going to see whenever you send out a push notification to all of your website visitors. So if I do want to allow, I click allow, and if not, then no thanks. Um, the settings that I put on my push notification is that this bell will only appear when somebody is not subscribed. So if they are subscribed, they won't see this again. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe for now. And then it's going to confirm, do you want Totally Codable uh, to send you notifications? And you simply click Allow. So it's already set up. And look at that. My little notification bell disappeared. Let me move over to this screen. How is this possible with OneSignal.com? I searched across the web for the best uh, user-friendly, the most economic way uh, and the fastest way to get push notifications and this was it. You can look through their website, um, read all their information. It seems people were already using it on Wix. They were just installing it a different way, but I'm going to show you the most updated way of installing that. Here, if you click on pricing, well, basically it's free. Um, unlimited devices, unlimited notifications you really can't beat that. And that's what they say there. So read up on this to see if you're interested. And if you are, then I definitely recommend it. I'm using it. It's good. Now let me show you where to sign up. You click on login and then it'll ask you to log in or sign up. So you can either sign up using uh, any of these social accounts or type in an email and a password. So I've already done all that. Let me show you my dashboard. So this is what it'll look like, sort of. When you go in there for the first time, it'll be completely blank. In fact, you'll see this. It says add a new app. So I already have my totally codable and uh, this one's already been configured. And this one, I started it, uh, but I did not finish it, which is the Webex Designs app. Um, also, I wanted to put notifications for my other website, webexdesigns.com, and so it's still there, and I can simply click finish and finish setting it up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to walk you through the steps from the very beginning, so click on add a new app. You can put whatever name you want. I'm going to put totally shoppable. Uh, you'll find out later why. <laughs> so I'm going to click create. And it's okay if you misspell it or if you change your mind later, you can change the name from the settings. So pick whatever name you want. You could even name it test. Then you're gonna start configuring it for what platform you want to use the push notifications on. For right now, we're going to do web push notifications. Um, you can try out the rest later if you want, if you're advanced. Um, Maybe I'll show you how to do Android notifications. But for now, web push notifications. So click there, click next. Then it's gonna walk you step by step. It's very easy, but don't skip any steps because then it won't work. I made that mistake the first time. So first, um, it asks you how do you wanna integrate it? If it's a typical site, if it's a website builder or custom code, um, you can click the website builder and select Wix. Let me show you. First, you need a premium plan 
with your own domain on Wix in order to do this because the place where we're going to be embedding the code is going to be under the tracking and analytics section, which is right here. So you should see something like this on your dashboard. When you go here, click on manage and edit site. This is from your Wix account. Then over here on the left side, you'll see tracking and analytics. Some of you already know that it's there because you've seen my hot jar heat map tutorial on YouTube. So there's that code over there. And notice how I already have a push notifications code. So um, if you don't know how to add a code, watch my hot jar heat map tutorial. It's super easy. Let's go back to one signal. So you set up the site, you give it a name, it could be my website, you give it the URL, so HTTPS, mm, I guess I'll do Webex designs one more time. Now it allows you to add a default icon, which means um, the little notification picture that comes out next to it you can have your own custom image, but the image has to be hosted online somewhere. And this is where you enter that URL. Since I'm using a Wix site for my Totally Codable, um, I actually used a image, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a moment. So what I've done is I've gone into my Wix editor, and because I already have the logo image that I want to use inside of here, um, I open up my images, and you'll find them over here. Uh, see this little orange section right here? It's the uploads. So you just click on images and it'll pop open your images. Um, these are the images on my site. I'm gonna pick any one. Uh, let me pretend that this one is the one for Webex. So when you hover over the image that you want, hover right on top of the download button. Don't click download, we don't wanna download it. But do you see at the bottom of my screen, the lower left-hand corner, a little pop-up comes out? That's actually the image URL where this image is being hosted. So if I click on the download, or don't click on the download button, hover on top of the download button, right click, select copy link address. Then over here, you're going to paste it. Don't click enter. If you hit enter on your keyboard, it's going to download it. Okay, watch, let me show you. Ah, you see, I hit enter, so it's gonna download it, but I don't wanna download it. Um, I just want this. So this is the one that you're going to go on the one signal and paste right there. Okay, so here you have to choose a label. This is just the label that's gonna come out whenever they receive the request. Hey, um, you know, Totally Codable wants to send you messages, so uh, put in any label you want, it can match the website name, preferably it does. In fact, you don't even need to change it. Whatever auto-populates there, it should be good enough for that. Then we have to set the permissions. If you don't add a permission, then the setup is not complete and they won't receive that little pop-up to go ahead and uh, subscribe. So you go through all the steps, you choose the size of the notification bell. See over here, it gets larger. You can get a medium or a small. So pick the size and pick the location if you want it on the right side corner of the screen or the left. Here, it's for visibility. Hide the bell if the user is subscribed. So if the user is subscribed, then they won't see it. How do I know that they won't see it? Here's the preview state. If you click on this drop down, it says right here you're viewing as if they've never subscribed before. But if I changed it to a person that has subscribed, this is what they would be seeing on, their, on the website. If I toggle this back on, then they would see this notification bell once again. You can change the color of it here. You can enter your code right there, or pick one randomly. Pick any color, and it'll update it. You can do opposite colors. This is the main color, this is the accent color. Maybe I wanna do the opposite. Maybe I want this to be the blue, or whatever color that is, <laughs> and this to be the white. And there we go. So pick the colors that you want, 
uh, brand it so it can match your website and make it look nice and pretty. <laughs> you could also customize the text. So if you toggle this on, um, you can put whatever you want. This is what they're going to see when the users have not subscribed yet. Hey, subscribe. <laughs> put any message. Just fill in the blanks. Uh, read what it says and pick a message that way it makes sense to your viewers. It doesn't have to be in English if you want it to be. Just click whatever you want. But fill in every single one. Uh, don't just pick one and then skip all the rest because then it won't work. So let me turn that off. Then the offset. Where exactly do you want the notification bell to be? So the bottom left, I move it 50, another 50, and see how it moves and shifts up and down? So figure out the exact location and save it. I'll just go ahead and save it like that. <laughs> okay, so now that you have a valid notification, uh, you can continue on to the next step. Then, after they subscribe, after they click yes, um, you should send, oh, it'll send an automatic message. Well, look here, there's my notification image. <laughs> um, it looks so tiny and weird. <laughs> I guess I picked one that was too small. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yes, after they subscribe, they'll receive an automatic message, or you should at least, because you can toggle this on and off. Um, this message is, one time only, as soon as they subscribe, they're going to receive it. Like, um, hello there. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. See you soon or something. Make up whatever you want. And there you go. When they receive the pop-up notification, you can actually set it up so that when they click on the little pop-up banner, you can direct them to a URL. So if they click on this and you want to send them to your website, you can do that. Otherwise, it's just the notification and as soon as they flick it off, well, it just goes away. But if you actually want to send them somewhere, like maybe your services page or your shop or something like that, then you can enter the URL there and as soon as they click on it, they will be redirected. Down here, this is the notification. So you can actually see a preview of what it'll look like on an Android phone, on a Windows, or Mac. Keep going down to the bottom. There's still more steps. <laughs> um, this is more advanced. You don't have to mess with any of this right now. Uh, later when you get more experienced, or maybe you already have the experience, you can test out some of these features. So now we're going to click Save. After we click Save, will be prompted to continue to the code. This is a little code that will have your unique app ID. The app is the actual file that you just created, so this will be different for everybody. You can try copying and pasting this one, but I'm gonna delete this one in just a bit, so this number won't be valid anymore. But this is what you're gonna copy, so just click on Copy Code, and then you're going to go into your Wix dashboard, and follow the steps that I showed you in the hot jar video. Um, make sure that it's placed in the head and it loads on each new page, or you can uh, choose a specific page where you want the notification bell to be. You can add a custom name and then click apply. Test. And that's it. It's done. So this code won't work. I can't show you a preview because I, <laughs> I've entered it into my totally codable uh, web account and we set it up for WebEx design. So those two won't match. <laughs> um, after you've added the code, then you can test out the features. I won't show you that right now. First, go practice how to add the code and wait till my next video so I can show you how to send the message. Bye.